Creatinine is a chemical waste compound that is being filtered by our kidneys and being eliminated in our urine. Too high levels of creatinine can cause serious complications. That's why we need to maintain our creatinine at a normal range. Before, when I was diagnosed with lupus, I had a very high creatinine level. Nine months ago, I uploaded a video on YouTube on how I was able to reach my creatinine level at a normal range again. And it reached 30,000 views. And also, it was bombarded with a lot of questions. And because of that, I am here to share you an updated way on how I maintain my creatinine at the normal range up until now. Well, first on the list is I don't drink alcoholic beverages, I don't drink soda, I don't drink coffee, <laughs> and I don't do drugs. So, but if your kidneys are already damaged like mine, one should take care of their kidneys by avoiding these abusive drinks, caffeine, alcohol. Instead, I drink a lot of water, pineapple juice, turmeric juice, coconut juice and apple cider water it's a mixture of apple cider vinegar plus water and every day whenever i feel i need to go to the comfort room and urinate i go directly there i don't restrict the flow of my urine because every time i go to the comfort room and urinate i feel that i am detoxifying my body i'm flushing the toxins so that's also uh, another tip. The second way on how I maintain my creatinine at a lower level is I try to lessen the consumption of meat. At first, it will be difficult if you are a meat lover like me. I swear, I'm a meat lover. For the first two weeks, I tried to avoid eating pork and beef. Then the following week, I tried to avoid chicken. Then next week, I only eat fish. So you can... Do it slowly but surely. But if you cannot really avoid eating meat, you can focus on the white meat instead like chicken and fish. In my case, I disciplined myself in a hard way. Up until now, I tried to eat no meat, even chicken. I only eat meat on special occasions such as birthday parties or events. But I rarely eat meat nowadays, that's why my creatinine is normal. And also, I try to avoid Filipino dishes like sisig, dinakdakan, bopis, papaitan. I also try to avoid food with preservatives such as hot dogs, corned beef, ramen. And before I eat the crackers or any food with that is packed, <laughs> I look at the nutritional facts and make sure that I'll eat food with less than 200 milligrams of sodium and I don't eat canned goods with brine on the la label such as tuna in brine, can in brine because it means that the food is salty. So I try to avoid those. Fourth way of how I lowered my creatinine level is to lower the consumption of salt in my body. Filipinos love dishes like tuyo, salted eggs, food we add, we always add soy sauce and fish sauce on the side on some of our dishes. I try to avoid those because I find it hard to urinate and difficult to pee whenever I eat salty food and you know the color of the urine changes. So I think uh, lessening the consumption of salt also helps in lowering the creatinine levels i just use a vinegar as a condiment that's it so the last way on how i lessen my creatinine level is to lessen the consumption of sugar like chocolate bars milkshakes soda carbonated drink so instead i eat kimchi achara or sauerkraut in english i also eat chili garlic to eat probiotics like Yakult, yoga, and for my body to have healthy microorganisms inside it as it heals, as it normalizes. Well, those are the ways how I disciplined myself to, to reach this normal range of creatinine up until now. And 
As of the moment, I am receiving improvements for my body as I face and battle with lupus. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. I hope this video helps and I hope your creatinine will also reach the normal range like mine. And I hope I can see you again on my next vlog. Just comment down below your questions. I'll be happy to answer them in the future. Goodbye.